With Galaxy's Edge opening in Disneyland in May and Walt Disney World at the end of August, some Star Wars fans are eagerly awaiting news on whether Galaxy's Edge will be coming to the other Disney parks around the world. Luckily, Disney has announced Galaxy's Edge will be coming to Disneyland Paris in their new expansion over the next few years. But they have yet to announce any news regarding Galaxy's Edge coming to any of the Asian Disney parks, meaning Tokyo Disney, Hong Kong Disneyland, and Shanghai Disneyland. Today, I will be looking at why I think Star Wars Galaxy's Edge won't be coming to any of these Disney parks. I will mainly be focusing on Shanghai Disney Resort, but I will also be looking at Tokyo and Hong Kong Disney. First, let's take a look at the Star Wars attractions already in the Asian Disney parks. Hong Kong Disneyland currently has the Star Wars Tomorrowland Takeover which includes the hyperspace mountain overlay, the command post where guests can meet characters, and a Jedi training academy. When I visited, it seemed that only the international guests were excited for these additions. Shanghai Disneyland did have a Star Wars launch bay, which opened seasonally, but after checking their website, it seems to have closed completely, therefore removing any mention of Star Wars in the whole park. Tokyo Disneyland does have the updated Star Tours, but other than that, Star Wars has a very limited presence in the parks. The first reason I believe that Asian parks won't be traveling to the planet of Batu is down to merchandise. With the exception of Tokyo Disney, spending on Disney merchandise in the Chinese parks is a lot lower than their American counterparts. I can't see guests visiting Shanghai or Hong Kong Disneyland getting a $100 droid, let alone paying over $200 for a lightsaber. The guest spending habits are a little different. When I visited Shanghai Disneyland, you can find people selling off-brand merchandise as soon as you leave your hotel all the way to the main gate, and even sometimes in the park. Although I didn't purchase anything, there were a lot of people who did. As the average salary is a lot lower in China, and with less disposable income, the official merchandise in the park doesn't seem to reflect that, resulting in lower merchandise sales. Asian people like to find a bargain and would rather spend a fifth of the price for merchandise even if it isn't official. Merchandise sales are so low in Shanghai Disney, you can find leftover stock in the American Disney parks and the Disney character warehouses for a fraction of the cost. As Disney still wants to keep the image of being a luxurious brand in Asia, they don't want to lower their prices within their own parks. As Galaxy's Edge is mainly geared towards selling unique Star Wars merchandise, I don't think it will be as much of a hit in the Asian Disney parks. The next reason that comes to mind is lack of space. With Hong Kong and Shanghai Disneyland still being single gated resorts, there is limited space to fit the Black Spire outpost. Hong Kong Disneyland is busy working on their frozen themed land and Shanghai is working on their Zootopia land. Both parks are busy with these future expansions. Until a second gate is announced in Hong Kong or Shanghai, I don't think there's enough space to fit in the humongous 14 acres of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. If the rumored third gate at Tokyo Disney Resort, Disney Sky, is true, then maybe a smaller version of the Galaxy's Edge, similar to the one in Disneyland Paris, would be considered to fit into this new park. The final and main reason why I don't believe Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will be coming to the Asian Disney parks is purely down to the lack of popularity of the Star Wars brand. The original trilogy wasn't released in theaters in mainland China as the first Star Wars film to come out was The Phantom Menace in 1999. And due to the lack of brand recognition, this only made around $4 million at the box office. The recent movies have also not performed well since the series returned in 2015 with The Force Awakens. 
Each new installment has grossed progressively less in China. Rogue One earned just $69.4 million of its $1 billion total box office, while The Last Jedi dropped out of cinemas in just two weeks. Solo, a Star Wars story, which also underperformed internationally, came up with just $3 million on its opening day. So, without the fan base and Star Wars nostalgia, I just don't think it's feasible for Disney to fund another Galaxy's Edge land in the Asian Disney parks. To conclude, with lower merchandise sales, lack of space, and smaller Star Wars fan bases, I don't believe we will be seeing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at an Asian Disney park in the foreseeable future. I'm sure we will get some new announcements during the next D23 Fan Expo coming next month, but I doubt an Asian Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is on the list. If Disney were to choose one of these parks for a Galaxy's Edge expansion, I think it would most likely be Hong Kong Disneyland, due to its higher number of international visitors. To be honest, I'm not too bothered if they don't include any new Star Wars lands in the Asian parks, as I would much prefer to see something new and more unique similar to Tokyo Disney Sea or the Pirates themed land in Shanghai Disneyland. And that's not to say that I'm not a Star Wars fan. I can't wait to visit Disneyland or Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World to check out this fully immersive, incredible expansion. In a future video, I will be looking at what expansions could work in the Asian Disney parks. So comment down below to let me know what expansions you would like to see in the future at any of the Disney parks. Thanks for watching.